Welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at what makes it hard for your snowblower to roll, especially if it's been sitting for a while or if you bought a used one that's been sitting for a while and it doesn't want to move when you try to push it. So we're going to start with taking this cover off. This happens to be a two-piece cover. Usually they're a one-piece, but you take this cover off and most of the problem is going to be in there and you really don't even have to take anything apart after you get inside this cover. Ah, a couple spiders in there. So here we can see this is our friction disc. Well, this is the friction disc. This is the drive wheel. And we rotate these tires. We can see that wheel looks pretty good. There's no chunks missing out of it. It pretty much engages right away. Th this here actually moves. This tilts when you pull on the cable. Now that's the blower side. If you pull on the cable and that 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 raises, well, here it's raising, otherwise it goes to it goes towards the friction wheel. And that's what makes it drive because this is being rotated by the engine and then it rotates that. So what happens a lot of times is this shaft here gets rusty. See how it's a little dirty on the outside? Well, this already has grease on it. You know, it's got a little trail of grease. So that's what you want to look at. And this one actually looks good. It's already been treated. So we're not really going to do anything with that. It's, you know, it's got grease on it, the whole travel that it needs to have. So, you know, right now we're just verifying that that's in good shape. And the chain's looking pretty good. There's actually no grease fittings down here anywhere. This is a, a fairly simple operation down here. We can, uh, I'm going to squirt that a little bit. We'll put a little WD-40 on there. And out here, where the, I believe these are just bushings. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just bushings for that axle shaft. So we're gonna we're gonna lube some of that stuff. Now this here, I, I believe in there. I believe these here are gonna be bearings on this shaft. Now when you're doing this, you don't you don't want to get any lubrication on here because that'll make the tires not drive. That'll create, that'll create slippage. You don't want that. And we'll put a little bit on these out here. Just in case it may do some good. I'll put a little more on these guys. I didn't actually even get this one out here. Put a little more on that. Well, I didn't run a timer last time, but it seems like it's spinning pretty good. So we'll do a little bit more here. So another purpose for lubing this stuff up so these turn easier, it makes it easier to push when it's not running because this did have a, a little bit of resistance to rolling. So if you lube all these points up in here, it's going to make it push easier if you get to the one that's causing the, the friction. 
One last thing you don't want to overlook here is this chain. When they get rusty, they do not want to go around the sprockets, and that could be the biggest reason why your snowblower may be hard to move. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. Well, now you see, if your snowblower is hard to move, this is the area that you want to pay attention to because most of the problem with it not moving is going to be in here. And if this kind of video is useful for you, please hit like and subscribe. It would really help me out. We'll see you in the next video.